got about four Humvees. You're clear. Light them all up. All right, fire it. Keep shooting. A video was leaked today depicting what appears to be a U.S. military helicopter firing on unarmed reporters. Twelve million people have seen that video. You still want to tell me you think it's just a little website? They have an agenda? Truth, justice, the American way. Man is least himself when he talks in his own person. But if you give him a mask, he will tell you the truth. Two people and a secret. The beginning of all conspiracy. More people and more secrets. But if we could find one moral man, one whistleblower, someone willing to expose those secrets, that man could topple the most powerful and most repressive of regimes. Bank is hiding billions of dollars in offshore accounts. We're going to nail those bastards. Former head of Iceland's biggest bank has been accused of fraud. We took down a billion dollar bank. <laughs> this is crazy. Courage is contagious. The White House today blasted the leak of over 90,000 military documents. The military logs expose hundreds of informants. There are lives at risk here. I need names of sources who could be harmed if these cables are put out. They're coming after us. We need to publish now. This is the biggest leak of classified information in history. The Guardian, New York Times, all standing alongside you. This is going to change everything. He's not a journalist. He's a threat to national security. It's all about survival. Lives are at stake. What about the lives of the civilians in these conflicts? If we had someone like you, the Berlin Wall would have come down years before. We're on the verge of a major international crisis. If you want to do this, you have to do it now. We've got a five seconds. We're going five seconds, seconds on. It's just you and your ego and the lies you tell to get whatever you want. This is information the world needs to know. We need to crush these guys. It's life. Times is life. If you want the truth, you should seek it out for yourself. That's what they're afraid of. You.